Being able to detect and respond to different light intensity is very important for many organisms as some are nocturnal while others are diurnal. This response could dictate the ability of that organism to find food, meat, water, shelter, escape predator, and their general survival. The following lab takes us into the habitat of some detritivores to find out how they deal with varying light intensity. The lab will assist teachers and students with the completion of science labs for exams. The labs are modified to meet the need of students with technological issues, hence teachers may add a time and or speed multiplier to the lab. It must also be noted that the following skills can be assessed using this virtual lab, ORR, AI. Teachers may also add other skills. The following questions are suggested questions for the lab. However, teachers may add questions as they so desire. Question number one. Use a table to record the movement of organism. Hence, you want to record the time at which the organism move or completed movement. Uh, two, how many organisms were used if each organism represents two organisms? Three, why did the organism respond the way they did? Include the light area and the dark area in your response. What does the experiment suggest about the habitat of the organisms? 5. Identify two other organisms which would have similar response. 7. What would cause any organism to move to light or away from light? 8. How does the response of these organisms impact their survival? You will require pen and paper for this lab. You can pause the video to retrieve those. Let's move right into the lab. This virtual lab comes to you from CSET Biology, the cover page. We do encourage you to like, share, and of course, subscribe. When you subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell so you can be informed as soon as we have a new publication. We also want you to leave in the comment section a comment. We want you to answer whether or not these virtual labs would have helped. Your answer can just be yes or no. So we're looking at the response of wood lice, millipedes, earthworm, of course, to light. We use eight organisms in each side of the choice chamber. Then, of course, the light was turned on. So the diagram on screen is that of a choice chamber. And of course, it has a dark side and a well-lit side. If you look closely at the dark side, you should be able to see some organism on that side. But you'll observe that the organisms are moving. Now, the particular organism that we are looking at is the earthworm. However, the response of the millipede and wood lice would have been similar. We are using a choice chamber. And you could make a choice chamber at home. Just use a box. And, of course, you're going to put a partition with a little window at the bottom so the organism can decide whether they go left, go right, go dark, or go to the lit area. And, of course, just bore a hole in the top of the box so that the light source can, of course, be added. So there you would have seen a flashlight being used to provide the lighting for the light side of the chamber. And of course, the dark side is, of course, well wrapped in black. We're observing the movement of the organism, and it is advised that you to observe and record. Remember, at any time, you can stop the video, you can start all over, so as to ensure that you are following your observation is, of course, accurate. Please be reminded we started the experiment with 16 organisms, 8 on the dark side, and, of course, 8 
on the light side. So now we are observing in order to answer our questions and write up the lab for whatever exams you have been assessed in. Remember, it is CSEC Biology, the cover page. And of course, I am Mr. Wilson. You can find us on YouTube and do remember to like, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel so we can continue the work. So you're observing some movement on the dark side. Uh, this simulation is pretty much typical to that of the habitat. So you see the organism, sometimes they are moving, sometimes they are not moving. Uh, organism from the dark side would probably enter the light side and they will go back and that type of thing because they are in search, of course, for all those necessary things for survival, things like food, meat, water. And, of course, they sometimes move just to escape predator. Out of curiosity, they move to find a better shelter and, of course, just for their general safety. You'll understand that there are some organisms that prefer the dark area so they would move away from anything, any area that is too bright and move towards dark protective covering. So we are observing the movement of this organism and we are recording the time. Of course, it will not take as much time as it would have if you were doing the actual lab because we took in consideration when we wrote this animation that of course you have limitations where the technology is concerned. So we are observing and it's very important that you observe too so that your information will be accurate. Your teacher might choose to add questions or remove questions or just to use the lab as a demonstration, whichever your teacher will decide to do. Remember, the lab comes to you from CSET Biology, the cover page. We are a YouTube channel and we tend to cover a whole lot of biology and human and social biology content. We also have a Vox Box show and some tech tip for those persons who have interest in the very recent, so to speak, evolving uh, technology. So we have looked at what is happening and of course we have done some amount of work just to look at the technology that most students, parents and of course teacher would be using. So we continue to look at the organisms, waiting on them to respond to the stimulus. The stimulus here being, yes you could document that in your book. We have uh, tree worms that are really, really busy. They keep moving from dark to light and they're going back. They are probably not too comfortable with something on the dark side and they're trying to find something that is more suitable for them. So they keep moving and keep moving and moving. And here we have some from the light side now. They are not too happy with this light. They have had enough of it and they are also moving uh, out of the light trying to find somewhere that is a little more comfortable so they have moved into the dark side there are still two other worms that are somewhat tolerant of the light so they are there and they are waiting to see if better might come there comes another and another and another three worms coming from the dark side and again, they are trying to find something a little more suitable than the condition that they probably have on the dark side. 
However, uh, the overly lit side is, of course, no safe heaven for them. So they visit trying to find that better place, hoping that there will be changes. But as for their visit, that is not happening. Now there we have another worm moving. This worm has had enough of the, the, this brightly lit area. No privacy, um, exposure to predator, all right, uh, exposure to desiccation being dried out. As such, this organism is not going to stay there any longer. The organism uh, moved to an area that seems to be a little safer, an area that is much darker than the area that it was. And there's, of course, three busy worms. They, they're really, they're not too comfortable with the dark side. And they continue to move and continue to move and continue to move, continue to move, just trying to find something better. Uh, for most cases, it seems as if they are a little um, less tolerant than the other worms, right? But for the greater part, we're observing this worm, the final worm in the lit era, has had enough of that side and I just can't take any more of its bright light. I am going to move. So the worm has moved away from the bright light into the dark area and of course has sought cover. So in the dark area, the worms, they are all there moving. They are moving, still moving and of course moving and moving, trying to find something better, trying to ensure that they are comfortable in this habitat they would have food they would have protection of course they it would have been moist and cool just the type of area that they like they're usually found in like compost heap where we have a lot of humus that type of a thing all right so this takes us to the end of the experiment the truth is organisms are always moving but based on their movement and uh, the time they stay in different area it could give you a good idea as to their preferred habitat. If you observe very close in the dark side, they are moving. They keep moving. They might be moving, of course, like we said to find um, even the preferred habitat. They're going to be looking for food. They're going to be looking for ideal environmental condition. They are going to, of course, ensure that they have water and they are in a position where they can escape predator. Uh, if a light, of course, is of too much for them, that too, they are going to move away from the light uh, just to protect themselves and ensure that they are safe. That takes us to the end of this lab. Thanks much for watching. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe to CSET Biology, the cover page. We are on YouTube.